r slash ask credit which two and two did you just recently put together at the end of first grade the teacher asked the class so who wants to stay here with me next year we all threw up our hands up excited and she picked one of us that kid stayed behind when we went to second grade i think about this once in a while and feel thankful she didn't pick me last time i thought about this i realized that i've been missing the mark that specific student was being left behind that year and the teacher did it in the smoothest way possible that's actually really sweet of her i agree damn that was smooth and clever what a sweetheart and good teacher made the other kids jealous would have sucked if he didn't raise his hand lol could have gone either way when i was a little kid my dad had some friends over to drink beer and watch a movie my mom made me play in the other room because this wasn't a movie for kids so I was playing in the living room as the men laughed, cracked jokes and loud music blasted from the other room. Eventually I wanted to see what the fuss was about. So I crept into the room in time to see a beefy, mostly naked man chained to a bed. Immediately the men start shouting, get him out of here. Turn off the movie. He shouldn't see this and they hustle me out of the room. Being about 6 or 7, I put the pieces together and think they were watching that man get tortured. Later, in my teens, a different answer occurred to me. They were watching porn. They were watching gay bondage porn. But it didn't make sense. None of them were gay. My mom was right there. Nobody was masturbating. What was going on? Were they watching it for laughs? Was there a woman I didn't see in the video? Years later I realized what should have been obvious given my long association with the stage show. They had been watching the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I walked in on the scene where Rocky breaks free of Frank's bedroom to run for freedom. Despite living in various houses growing up my dad's closet would always smell the exact same way, he said it was the mothballs that he used. Later when I tried pop for the first time I said this smells like mothballs. Everyone looked at me funny, and it still took days until I finally realized what that meant. Always thought whipped cream was difficult to make. My friends and I would get excited and impressed that this crepe place would make their whipped cream in-house, as advertised for an extra $1.50. Can't begin to tell you how dumb I felt one day when I realized. It is literally whipped cream. Does it help to know that you can make your own with a mason jar and patience? If you have enough patience you can make butter that way too. A chum bucket is where you'd keep fish guts, possibly explaining why Plankton's restaurant ain't so busy. Edit, spelling, he crusty crab is in bikini bottom. Patrick Star is so stupid because he literally lives under a rock. Plankton eats holographic meatloaf because Plankton eat light. The Krusty Krab is a lobster trap. The houses in Bikini Bottom are car parts. If you're a junior, e.g. Robert Jr., your mother probably screamed your name during X. We never met Pearl's mother because she was adopted. Edit theory. What if Mr. Krabs adopted, married a whale because whales eat plankton? One of these things is not like the others. That hollow loaf thing is brilliant. Whenever you see weather stations on the news and notice, hey I wonder why they went with some random town in the area when there are other bigger ones nearby. It's likely because there's a regional airport or small airfield. They all need accurate weather for planes to take off including wind direction, intensity, and barometric pressure. So they have all the equipment available to show the bigger picture locally. There's a meme going around about making sure your young kids go to classmates' birthday parties because it's devastating to be a kid and have nobody come to yours. And I thought that I was damn lucky that even though I didn't cast a wide net of friends, everybody always came to my birthday party. My mom was a teacher at my school. It never occurred to me until recently that some of those kids had a vested interest in making sure they came to my birthday party. Jackie Chan is one person. My first language is Spanish, so I always thought it was Jack Y. Chan. The only movie I had seen him in was one with Owen Wilson. 
So I thought Owen Wilson was Jack and Chan was Jackie Chan. Mr. Dink from the 90s cartoon, Doug. He and his wife are Dinks because it stands for dual income, no kids. If you recall Mr. Dink showing things off, that's why. Very expensive. Arrested Development It wasn't just a description of the family's maturity level. Their property development was arrested all five seasons and I literally only figured this out watching the final episode. Say, that's the name of this show. Wait till you find out why Michael's brother is called Gob. When I was about 19, shortly after Christmas I went to get my wallet from the drawer next to my bed only to find it missing. Thinking to myself, did I not take it out of my coat? I went to check only to find it absent from there too. Panicking, I realize I've likely lost my wallet or worse, had it stolen and start ringing to cancel my debit cards. A few days later, my dad hands me my wallet. It's missing my bank cards and about 30 pounds in cash I had in there, but things like my store loyalty cards, staff discount card for where I worked and ID cards. He says he found it in a nearby park, yet the wallet was clean. This is the same man who routinely needed to borrow money from me, over a grand at this point I'm unlikely to see again. I only realized the other day it's very likely that he took the wallet from where I kept it, took the money out of my wallet, and then I realized it was missing before he had chance to put it back. Then merely claimed to find it a few days after to avoid admitting to taking the money himself. Not me, but my friends didn't know Tinder itself was a pun. Because when you swipe on each other, it's a match. Edit, users are the Tinder for the match to light up a fire. Just this week, I realized that the icon for my clock app changes to show the current time. My car door was slightly ajar, not unusual, on Monday and all week, I couldn't find my backpack, also not unusual. I lose shit very often and I was having a reunion with my friends all weekend so I figured I was just shit-faced and went to my car to my phone charger or something. Took a couple days for me to realize oh shit I got robbed. This one reminds me of my mother, she couldn't understand why the garage door stopped responding to her insistent button presses. And somehow at the same time, her car window kept opening and closing by itself. She's classic, she once decided to multitask during the 30 seconds it took her to swish mouthwash around in her mouth. She decided to straighten up the perfume bottles, lipsticks, and makeup compacts on her bathroom vanity. Then she noticed a bit of stray powder on an open compact mirror and decided to just blow on it. Not extremely recently, but it took me 21 years to notice that my birthday is exactly 9 months after Valentine's Day. That's right mother duckers I'm a product of love. Edit. I do understand that science doesn't fully support it, but I also can choose to ignore that. My babysitter became basically family. She was an old woman and took care of us for like 20 years before I was even born she cared for my siblings. One morning she didn't show up to work. Didn't call. Nothing. Same thing the next morning. My mom went to her house and found she had passed away. She came home and told us kids. We asked a few questions. How did you find her? Well she died in her car. Oh, okay, she must have just died of old age, she was like 74 after all. Years later I figured it out, like 13 years. I was telling a friend about who she was and what she meant to our family. Then it hit me, like a ton of bricks. People don't just die randomly one morning sitting in their car at their house. Their bodies don't just shut down. She commits suicide at the age of 70-something by carbon monoxide poisoning. She turned the car on in a closed garage and ended her life. My parents didn't want to tell me or my siblings because they didn't want it to impact how we thought of her and what she meant to us as a family. She suffered from severe depression all her life and as a kid I had no idea. It is truly heartbreaking because we loved her like a grandma. I wish she were still around. 
We are still friends with her sister who is in her mid-90s, so our babysitter could still be here too. If you're suffering, talk to someone. Because there are people who will want you around tomorrow and 20 years from now. Nurse here, you can actually see the brain connection being made when you tell a teenaged boy that the brown ring around their penis is the scar from their circumcision. I told people I was uncircumcised when I was younger because I didn't really know what it was and no one ever explained it to me. Thanks to television, I thought it was strictly a Jewish thing. As soon as I realized that I had in fact been circumcised, it was an immediate realization that the brown ring was the scar. Mind blown. Valve released steam. Took me entirely too long to realize the pun. OMG, did not get this either. About a year ago, I was thinking of growing some pickles in my backyard. I was frustrated, however, when I was googling how to grow pickles, and I couldn't find the information I was looking for. I was the tender age of 29 years old. I was working at a deli a few years ago and one of the employees had the impression cucumbers and pickles were different plants. Didn't click it's a pickled vegetable. She also thought Pearl Harbor was when the Hawaiians bombed America. My third grade teacher gave me special assignments and privileges because she knew I was being bullied and had no friends. It literally never occurred to me. I thought she just trusted me to take care of stuff. Nope, I finally realized as a 20 year old that there was a reason. Edit, obligatory, holy crap this blew up. Also apparently I'm making a lot of people rethink their childhood and I'm sorry about that. But I'm eternally grateful for the teachers who made my life a little better and I wouldn't be here today without them. Realizing this has made me all the more grateful for them smiley face. I was in middle school and my little brother went to a daycare. I was paid by the daycare to clean up toys and help with small kids. One dollar a day and it was from after school until six. My mom worked at the daycare full time. I took it seriously, I sanitized, cleaned, etc. I was in college before I realized my mom knew I wouldn't want to be their oldest kid in daycare, but I had to be there until she was off. I have always taken price in working and making my own money and I thought I was the coolest 5th grader. Like and subscribe.